The world is moving into a new era, when water will be a resource as prized as oil. In the heart of the desert kingdom of Saudi Arabia, where water is as precious as gold, a grand vision emerges. A nation already battling its own freshwater scarcity is stepping forward with a billion dollar initiative to quench the world's thirst. Can you believe that Saudi Arabia is planning to create a billion dollar project that could provide fresh water to the entire earth? As much as it is intriguing and a positive vision, one cannot trust that this project would actually become a reality. But so was the popular opinion about Saudi Arabia's Glass Line City program, which is already under construction now. Whether or not this freshwater project will be successful depends on the background of its plan, the intentions of the global leaders, and most importantly, the resources required for its completion. While many spotlight Saudi Arabia for its vast oil reserves, the real treasure, especially for its inhabitants, is water. As the country's skyscrapers ascend with booming oil revenues, water reserves are depleting at an alarming pace beneath the sands. Because as marvelous as the Kingdom of Saudi is, in reality it is a desert and deserts are not famous for having huge water reserves. In the midst of this freshwater problem for the country's own citizens, emerges the country's new commitment to not just serve this people, but humanity at large with freshwater reserves. Drawing its water supply primarily from the sea and deep wells, Saudi Arabia relies heavily on its groundwater, constituting a staggering 98% of their natural freshwater. However, data from 2022 paints a grim picture. Over 80% of Saudi Arabia's fossil water is now inaccessible, which means a fourth out of a fifth of Saudi's natural water reserves are gone. One of the Earth's grandest freshwater reserves in one of the driest regions has seen dramatic depletion within just a generation. But what are the reasons for this water crisis, and how do the leaders plan to solve it? Underneath the arid desert, there was a huge supply of 120 cubic miles of water equivalent to the volume of Lake Eric. This water source, combined with the nation's oil wealth, gave rise to an ambitious vision to make the deserts bloom. However, this vision came at a cost. Every year, up to 5 cubic miles of this ancient water was pumped out for agricultural activities. The brutal reality of Saudi Arabia's climate meant that these colossal withdrawals were not virtually replenished, rainfalls are almost non-existent in the region. From an aerial view, one can spot patches of intense greenlands amidst the vast brown desert. These green patches are farmlands made fertile by irrigation. They house vast agricultural projects and livestock, particularly milk cows which have a high demand for water both for drinking and cooling. This water comes from the deep aquifers, the remains of a wetter climatic era in Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia's geography and climate have not been its ally in this context. Context. There are no rivers, lakes, or significant vegetation due to the minimal rainfall. Historically, the Saudis have relied on oases, and now they are using desalination plants for their water needs. But the intensive farming efforts required a lot more water than these sources could provide. Acknowledging the gravity of the situation, Saudi Arabia has embarked on a mission to adapt its agricultural strategies. Saudi Arabia has also rolled out the brilliant Katra program aimed to make its citizens' water rise. The goal is to reduce daily water use and and make sure every drop is used efficiently. Their Vision 2030 initiative further underscores this commitment. Aiming to drastically reduce their dependence on groundwater for agriculture, they hope to sustain their land and people more efficiently. With natural resources dwindling, Saudi Arabia has turned to the seas. The technique of removing excess salts from seawater is crucial in making it safe and usable. But this process of water desalination is also energy intensive. Saudi Arabia is the world's largest producer of desalinated water. As global pioneers in desalination, they've transformed seawater to account for half their water consumption. The country operates 31 magic water-making plants to provide desalinated water to its people. But this solution is far from perfect, while innovative desalination has its share of environmental and economic challenges. But that's not all. Farmers can be super thirsty. Saudi Arabia has recognized this and is changing its farming game. Instead of using so much water to grow crops crops in the desert, they are reducing support for certain water-hungry crops and focusing more on water-efficient farming techniques. And here's a clever move. Saudi Arabia is buying land in places with more water, like parts of the US and Argentina. On these lands, they are growing crops, especially the water-loving ones, and then bringing them back home. It's like outsourcing your garden to a rainier neighborhood. Saudi Arabia's innovation doesn't stop there. Have you heard about their Red Sea project? Designed to be a tourist haven, this venture promises to be a beacon of luxury. However, it's also said to be a monumental consumer of water, underlining the complexity of the nation's water challenge. Now, time to discuss their announcement of the billion dollar project that has taken the world by storm. Why, amidst their own challenges, is Saudi Arabia planning a global freshwater project? This initiative
Gulf, though in its early stages, signifies Saudi Arabia's determination to address the global water scarcity challenge and showcases its leadership in global sustainability efforts. But how will they make this vision come true? They've now announced seven new desalination projects which will see the light of day starting in 2024. Names like Ras El Khair 2, Tabuk and Jazan are set to be synonymous with this transformative process of turning seawater into fresh water. Having fresh water is one thing, but ensuring it reaches every household is another major task. To address this, Saudi Arabia will roll out four independent water transmission pipeline projects, ensuring that cities from Tabuk to Jizan get a steady supply of potable water. The kingdom has a grand vision of 10 new independent strategic water reservoir projects, ensuring that key regions like Riyadh, Jeddah, and Makkah have ample water reserves. These projects will stretch from next year all the way to 2029. With sustainability at its core, Saudi Arabia has also unveiled six new wastewater treatment projects. The aim is to treat wastewater and make it reusable. Projects like North Jeddah 1 and the SSTP in Northern Province are part of this initiative. Last year's announcement of 60 water projects worth a whopping 35 billion Saudi rials, 9.33 billion US dollars, is also a part of Saudi's commitment. This will lead to a colossal increase in desalination capacity, aiming for 7.5 million cubic meters of water daily by 2027. It's worth noting that Saudi Arabia isn't alone in this venture. The entire MENA region is witnessing a boom in desalination projects. Saudi Arabia's investment of $14.58 billion ensures its top position in this sphere, outshining even its closest competitor, the UAE, with predictors indicating that Saudi Arabia's population will soar to 40 million by 20. 26, it's evident why these water projects are in dire need of the hour. The pressure on water infrastructure is real, and Saudi Arabia is proactively preparing for it. Saudi's national water company, NWC, alone has announced projects worth more than 108 billion SAR, $29 billion, showcasing their dedication to this cause. While we admire the kingdom's efforts to make their country more grandeur and green, we can't skip the fact that while aiming globally, Saudi Arabia suffers from water issues at home. Cities like Jazan bear the brunt of these challenges, with inconsistent water supply being the norm. With reservoirs running dry and scanty rainfalls, the urgency of the situation at home is undeniable. This is Saudi Arabia's blueprint for the future. Part of it focuses on reducing their reliance on those deep, ancient water reservoirs, especially for farming. They are aiming to use less and less groundwater each year. Saudi Arabia's leap into global water solutions, especially given its own alarming water situation, is both bold and commendable. As this desert nation ventures to impact global water security, it's a reminder of the profound value of water and our collective responsibility to conserve it. The billion dollar question remains, can Saudi Arabia truly change the course of global water scarcity? Well, we all can just hope that this vision actually becomes reality because, after all, it benefits the whole of mankind. According to research, each year, diarrheal infections kill 2 million people, usually children. Many of the water systems that keep ecosystems functioning and sustain a growing human population have been stressed. Rivers, lakes, and aquifers are drying up or becoming unusable due to pollution. More than half of the world's wetlands have vanished. Agriculture utilizes the most water of any source and wastes a large portion of it due to inefficiencies. Climate change is changing weather and water patterns all throughout the planet, generating shortages and droughts in some areas and floods in others. At the current rate of consumption, this problem will only get worse. Water scarcity may affect two-thirds of the world's population by 2025, and the world's ecosystems will suffer even more. So it would be a blessing and a hope for humanity if Saudi Arabia is successful in its efforts to provide the whole world with water. Your thoughts and perspectives matter. Share your views in the comments below.